Hello, welcome to Kaiju 101, with yours truly, Professor Kaiju. Uh, so, I know this is a little bit late in the game, um, but the Godzilla Resurgence Shin Gojira trailer dropped some time ago now, <laughs> but I thought I would put my uh, thoughts on it, considering this is a channel for Kaiju, by Kaiju, with Kaiju, of Kaiju, blah blah blah. Um, so, the uh, new Godzilla trailer, uh, Shin Gojira, Godzilla Resurgence, it is the first Japanese Godzilla movie in 12 years, uh, ever since Godzilla Final Wars, where Toho had basically said, hey, I'm, uh, I'm done with this, we're done with this, we're not doing the Godzilla again, then Legendary put out, it's not as legendary as we wish it was, it had been... Uh, movie, and they decided, yeah, this can make money again, so let's do it. Um, it looks good. It looks uh, it looks pretty good. You can't really there's nothing really to garner for story plot. But, I mean, except that uh, from the articles and from even the trailer itself, it's basically you know it's a reboot. It's a complete reboot. No continuity with the other Godzilla movies. This is from scratch. A bunch of the other Japanese Godzilla movies uh, had done this whole thing of let's reboot it except for the first movie, so it's basically another Godzilla that's come around and uh, basically just that first Godzilla happened and let's just do another one. But this one is just, no, we're, re we're reimagining that first attack. We're going back to Godzilla's dark days when he was a force of nature, not just... Uh, random protector of humanity for some reason slash anti-hero it's, it's he's a monster and it shows in this trailer um it's very epic feeling except for that uh except for near the beginning where uh there's basically the trailer like the big some kanji comes up and then you just see uh godzilla's head and he just goes you know like Aah! it's kind of puppety uh it's very goofy. It's that that part's a little goofy, but it's really cool that in this movie they're doing a blend of the original suitmation guy in the suit with CGI. Uh, I like that. That we're going back to the roots, but they're not denying the fact that it's nice to have CG sometimes because sometimes sometimes it uh, you can't do everything you want in a guy in a suit. Um, but he looks. He looks scary to me. Um, he's got a very molten, like, lava, magma feeling. He looks very reminiscent of Burning Godzilla, one from Godzilla vs. Destroya, where he's his heart is, like, turning into a nuclear reactor, or uh, it's going to, like, a nuclear meltdown. So his whole body's radiating red. So, like, with his blackened skin and the red, it looks like lava, it looks like burning, it looks like he's just... He's screwed up. He's very screwed up. Um, he looks very much like radiation. Like this is something terrible has happened to him. Like they're going back to this is a creature that has been destroyed or wrecked by radiation and he's coming to take his vengeance on mankind. Uh, and that's kind of what we can tell from the trailer. There's not really much to gain from it. There's just uh, epic sounding music and a lot of people who look worried and some guys who don't look so worried, there's just like two guys in the trailer that I just, I don't know, it, it probably, they're probably not talking about the monster attack, but I imagine that they're talking about the monster attack with the guy in the foreground, and they're just both like, uh, and then just, uh, like, you know, the entire city, the entire country is burning, and you're just like, I don't know, monster? <sighs> That's stupid. I don't know what you're talking about. They're just Godzilla's just going about, like, rah, 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 you know, in the background. And they're just like, mm -hmm. I don't believe you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, aside from that, I guess the two weirdest parts uh, are two slight nitpicks. Um, could be Godzilla's freakishly long tail. It's uh, it's weird. Um, it looks like it's falling apart, which is cool. Um, all of Godzilla looks like he's falling apart, but that tail is like 
five times longer than it needs to be. It's like twice the span of his body and then some. Um, I don't know why. Maybe there's a reason. I kind of hope there's a reason. Because otherwise it's weird. Uh, I mean, it gives him... It makes it easier for him to store a whole city. I mean, he probably just has to like spin in place and just... Just goes like does a whole crop circle except with a with a city. Uh, and his tiny, tiny weird arms, uh, like chickeny arms, um, they're just like, <sighs> and he's just like, you know, just like uh, he's moving his fingers, just like feeling his arms, and it's, it's weird. Um, I, I've, I believe I've read somewhere, um, or, like, I've read somewhere in a couple articles that they have talked about that there were possible sightings of multiple versions of the suit or Godzilla on set. So it's a possibility that he's going through some type of metamorphosis or he's degrading through the movie or regenerating. Um, so it could be that his arms and parts of him got hurt really badly, but he will slowly start, like, coming back through the movie it's not certain, um, that would be cool, because otherwise his arms are really, really weird. Uh, maybe, he, maybe he's just, like, waiting for them to grow little giant buff arms so he could crush the city. Uh, I don't really think so, though. Godzilla's never had big arms anyway, so, I don't know. Maybe they'll destroy original Godzilla conventions by giving him, like, giant biceps and delts and stuff and just, like, wreck the city! Um... Probably not, though. Uh, yeah, it's it's good. Uh, it's nice to have a movie. I'm not too familiar with a lot of Japanese trailers. Uh, a friend of mine has told me that a lot of Japanese trailers do this with just the music and no words or any actions and stuff, so that might be a thing. Um, I, for one, enjoy it. Because I feel that over here with uh, with our trailers, we get too much of the movie out of the trailer, and then they drop five more trailers. They end up giving up more and more and more. By the time you see the last trailer, you know everything that's gonna gonna be in the movie, including any I don't know surprises that might have been in there. Um, so it's nice just uh, just not to have any of that. Uh, you see a bunch of characters. Possibly main characters. The one guy with glasses goes on. He's probably going to be the main character. Um, but yeah, it's it's really cool. It's the 31st Godzilla movie. That's ridiculous. It is freaking ridiculous that it has 31 movies and it is still strong enough to keep going. It just doesn't die. It just doesn't die. And I'm excited. Uh... It could be bad, but I'm really hoping it's good. Um, I'm hoping that it, uh, since it's being done by Toho, that they revisit this whole monstrous Godzilla thing. It's really cool, because Godzilla is a weird character who has been villain, good hero, anti-villain, just whatever you want him to be. He's just been through every role, and it's cool to go back to the roots. Go back to him being a villain. Legendary has him up as a hero. Toho's going back to villain. So they're two, they're way separated. You know, they're going back in two different sides of Godzilla. So it's really cool. Uh, and I can't wait till July. So uh, yeah, those are those are my thoughts. Those are my my things for this trailer. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment what you think. Uh, if you, uh, if you, uh, if you, if you thought I was pretty good, subscribe, leave a comment, like it. Uh, if you thought this was a video, subscribe, like it, leave a comment or something. If you think that I'm a complete idiot and I should probably just go away, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks. I'll see you next time. At some point.